Hi, my name's James Pickering. Welcome to my third uh, video about uh, scoring county lines. Uh, welcome back. I've been away for a few weeks, hence the delay. But let's let's just get right into it, and I'll I'll play you the the cue. Uh, this is imported. The stems imported from Pro Tools, so it's not the final mix, but it's the final stems that we use for the mix. So here we go. Okay, so why do I think I wrote it like this? Um, well, um, I wanted it to be in keeping with the rest of the score that I'd done so far. Um, it's actually um, one of my favourite cues on this, um, on the film. Uh, I kind of, I remember, I, th I just sort of played it in, played it on the piano, and then um, it felt right. Um, I think there may be shades of uh, what I did for the short film version. Just very simple, holding holding down the chord until it's time for it to kind of feel like it needs to change when the pace goes up um, and the, the scene changes. I wanted to have the timpani. I played the timpani. It's uh, I think it's Spitfire J.B. Burgess timpani, so we didn't get live timpani in. But it's like it's well, you can hear it's just like a roll that maintains the ominous nature of the of the cue. There you go. So that goes throughout the whole cue. Then we've got the strings doing the thing. The strings, there are only like three or four chords in there. And then it kind of goes from these really sparse, just a, a G and a D, just a fifth, and then C minor, and then there's an F minor in there somewhere. Um, but it goes from these really sparse intervals into there are a few little clusters, which means kind of like notes in seconds um, within the key. And that rhythmically, it's kind of, it's a bit com conversational. They're like almost sighing these um, seesawing, um, which I think in the first video about this, I spoke about kind of the music kind of represents the descent of Tyler into this world. So um, they're seesawing like decisions and the sequence alternates between what his mother's doing, trying to get work because uh, she's been fired from a job and Tyler dealing, doing his version of work. Yeah, so, so we've got this slow conversation in the seesaw of the chords and then the piano is doing more kind of um, more frenetic sort of, conversational piano so a uh, conversational style um so have, have a listen to the piano quickly and we'll, we can look at that So that, um, so I improvised that and then scored it out for my, my very talented friend Matthew to play 
in the scoring session. And it's real piano, um, sounds really nice. And there's a bit of Echo Boy on there. Um, and then we've got this kind of otherworldly synth, or two, two synths doing their thing, which is in keeping again with the rest of the, the score, the electronic elements, which add a kind of distant, cold vibe, I think. Let's have a listen to the iris, the um, plug-in. So it's four samples triggered by the key, by the keyboard, and yeah, just have a listen. Uh, and then you can you can kind of brush out which frequencies you don't want or the frequencies you want to keep in. It's pretty cool. I, I actually I love it. I love it. I got it for like twenty quid. I think I mentioned last last week, the last video. Got it in the sale. Uh, great purchase. Probably all that it does, but it adds this kind of strangeness. And Zebra's doing this. I've bounced it because just for stability. Uh, so this is what Zebra's doing. So that's just Zebra. So the LFO is triggering the sync. Um, someone remind me what sync does, but I, I like it. Is it doing anything else? Oh look, pan. So LFO one is doing panning crotchets. So yeah, and that's um, that's the texture from another from another cue as well. So it's kind of bringing these elements in that were in other cues, even though the cue itself is different. Um, it's quite, I mean, it's very simple, but it works and it's just played really nicely. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the, what, what I've done is they're essentially, a lot of string parts are playing the same note, but they're done in different, with using different techniques. So you've got harmonics in the cello, the jump, there's a natural harmonic G, and then that jumps to an artificial harmonic an octave up, which is where you, finger the note that you want to have it two octaves higher, you lightly hold your finger a fourth above for an artificial harmonic two octaves up. And it's the same with guitar. And then um, it gives this really kind of brittle flavor. So there's um, harmonics, there's sultasto playing over the fingerboard, there's sulporticello playing over the bridge and there's alternating as well. So I guess it's um, in a way, the synths are kind of doing that as well with opening and closing filters. Because you open a filter, you get more harmonics. You play sol you, um you get more harmonics than playing soltasto. And um, it's like, the you know, why we like that kind of thing. Because our mouth opens and lets out more harmonics. When we close on, we get less harmonics. So I think there's a Stockhausen piece called Stimmung. And that's all based on opening and closing the mouth and creating different, um, more resonance, more harmonics. So check that out. Yeah, so all this stuff's kind of floating around my head when I'm writing it. It's not, going back is actually really interesting because it's like, why did I do that? How did I do that? But it's just building up a library in your head of sounds and things and techniques that just you like. Um, you know, listen to stuff you like or listen to stuff you don't like, but my, maybe you'll find stuff in the stuff you don't like that you do like, if that makes any sense, like little bits. It is literally just having stuff to, because when it comes down to it and you've got to work fast, you've got to have these things floating around um, and do your work in between in the spaces, I guess. That's what I did anyway. I mean, I'm always like trying to learn new stuff. Um, that's not really to show off. That's just like that, because I, I know that when I do have something, you know, someone knocks on my door, then I've got to be ready. I can't just go away and learn a bunch of stuff. Um, or I could, but at least I've got this other stuff that I've learned as well. Yeah, so um, cool. Um, if there's anything else you want to know about this, I'll probably shove up some scores and note, um, little bits and uh, like highlight stuff and whatever. But I hope that's helpful. I'm just telling you what I did really and why I did it and why I like doing it. Oh, kalimba. There's also kalimba because I like the texture of that. This is a, another sample. This is I think this is Spitfire Labs, but this works well with the piano. I'll just play it on its own.
bit of an Aphex Twinny kind of thing in there. And then you do that with the piano. Just complements it quite nicely. Yeah, so, I mean, I I I like to do things quickly, but when I get down to the details, I'm quite fussy, I suppose. Not fussy, but I like to get textures working really nicely together. Um, so, yeah, okay, well, have a good have a good week. Uh, I should be back next week with something, another cue or something not County Lines related. But, um, all right, take care and all the best. <laughs>